beautiful day here at the Centurion. The sun is beating down and the atmosphere already at this ground is electrifying. To start with, uh, the atmosphere was uh, absolutely fabulous. Cricket crazy countries of Pakistan and India will come to a standstill today. It was probably the one of the one of the best games I have played in my life. It's the first time these two teams have clashed for some time. They batted first. They scored something 274 or 275, which was a very good total. And at lunchtime, uh, I remember I just uh, went to the dining room, picked up a bowl of ice cream and came back. I said, I'm just going to relax, listen to music and just go out and watch the ball and play my game. It's the 2003 Cricket World Cup semi-final between arch-rivals India and Pakistan. The formidable Pakistani fast bowler Wasim Akram is bowling. Batting is India's 30-year-old Sachin Tendulkar. At stake, the pride of a nation. Tendulkar on his way, in spanking fashion. Sachin survives Akram's attack and now faces Shoab Akhtar, one of the fastest bowlers in the world. 150k that second delivery. The air is thick with anticipation as Akhtar runs in to deliver another blistering ball. Less than a second later, Sachin Tendulkar will strike one of the most decisive blows of an extraordinary career. Sachin Tendulkar is a born genius and when a born genius tries to make himself perfect, it's a deadly lethal combination. I can tell you with a certain amount of certainty, a Sachin can't be made. Sachins have to be born. I think he's not an Indian cricketer, he's an idol. He's the greatest sporting idol this country has known. <laughs> Sachin Tendulkar is internationally recognized as a cricket phenomenon. For over 17 years, he's not only been wowing millions of cricket fans all over the world with his skill, he's also recognized as one of the major sporting and cultural icons in his own cricket-crazy part of the world. Cricket is the subcontinent's most popular sport, played almost everywhere, from makeshift pitches to the finest grounds. It's truly the everyman's game, and in India, Sachin is its reigning king. Sachin's rise to international cricket stardom is an often told story of sacrifice, determination and hard work. But to best understand what makes him so good, one has to appreciate the pivotal role the batsman plays in the game. Cricket is a game played by two teams of 11 players each. A game can last from one day to five days, depending on the type of tournament being played. Like American baseball, it's a bat and ball game. The object is to score points known as runs. To score runs, the batsman has to hit a ball bowled at him. Like baseball, runs are scored by sprinting between two wickets, the equivalent of bases, or hitting the ball to or over a boundary rope, similar to a home run. But hitting the ball is the tricky part, because bowlers use all manner of speed and spin on a cricket ball to make it as difficult as possible for the batsman to hit it. A cricket ball leaving the hands of an experienced pace bowler can be blindingly fast and incredibly unpredictable. With speeds in excess of 160 km per hour, a cricket ball travels just as fast as a baseball. But unlike baseball, a cricket batsman has to face dozens of balls and compete for hours on end. This means to be an effective batsman, one has to have incredible stamina and remarkably fast reflexes. With over 10,000 runs to his name, Sachin Tendulkar is undoubtedly one of the greatest batsmen in cricket history. An accolade he's dedicated his life to attaining. But what are the physical and mental attributes that have made him so? What, for Sachin Tendulkar, is the difference?